Okay, in expanding brackets part two, we're going to have a look at what happens when you get some negative signs mixed in there as well. Last time in part one, we looked at when we just had positive signs in the brackets. Now we're going to look at what happens when you get some negative signs in there. So we need a quick recap on what happens when we multiply positive and negative numbers. So when we multiply just two positive numbers, like two times three, we get a positive result. The answer is just positive 6. If we multiply two negative numbers together, it makes a positive answer. So minus 2 times minus 3 gives positive 6 as an answer. If we multiply together a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive number, we get a negative result. So for example, minus 2 times positive 3 gives negative 6. This should be a recap, but we need to keep that in mind when we're solving these questions. So let's have a look at a couple of examples now. Expand, that means multiply out everything in these two brackets. So we do ourselves our multiplication grid. Everything in the first bracket we put on the top line. Notice how I carry the positive with the 3. And then 5x with the minus 2 goes down that side. OK, so now we just multiply out 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 5x times positive 3 is plus 15x. 2x times negative 2, positive number times a negative gives a negative result, negative 4x. And then Positive 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Positive number times a negative gives a negative answer. So now everything that we got as an answer in our multiplication grid we just write out. So 10x squared plus 15x minus 4x minus 6 and we just combine the like terms. They're these ones on the diagonal. So we're left with 10x squared. We had 15x and we take four of them away. We're left with 11x, so plus 11x minus 6. And that is the answer to this question. So let's have a look at another one now. You'll notice that we've got two negative signs in the brackets now. Let's have a look at what happens when we have these kinds of questions. We do it exactly the same way, do ourselves our multiplication grid, everything in the first bracket on the top line, take the negative with the 3, then everything in the second bracket goes down the side, 2x and take the negative with the 4 and put it there. Next step, we just multiply out, 2x times 3x is 6x squared, 2x times negative 3, positive times negative gives negative answer, minus 6x. 3x times minus 4, positive number times negative gives negative answer, minus 12x. And finally, negative 4 times negative 3, minus times a minus gives a positive answer, doesn't it? So plus 12. Write everything out that we got as an answer in our multiplication grid. And then we look to combine the like terms. So like terms, there are always these diagonals on this grid. So 6x squared, we've got minus 6 and we take away 12 more. We're left with negative 18, minus 18x plus 12. And that's your answer to that question. Here's some questions for you to do now. Make sure you pause the video, write the questions out in full, make sure you do your multiplication grid, do your workings, and once you've done all the questions, play the video again to check your answers. But for now, pause the video and do the questions. Okay, here's the answers. Check to see if you got any wrong. Make sure if you got some wrong, you try and work out where you went wrong.